This is gonna be really quick. This is gonna be a quick curl. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out here today at this super, super nice curb that I found on one of my recent dirt bike adventures. So I come across this curb, it's in a super low key spot. I don't really have a curb close to home to skate like this, so I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go down, make it happen. This is gonna be the very first episode of Creator Spot. I'm just gonna go around making spots to skate. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. So not too long ago, I was doing a little bit of work on a spot that you guys will eventually see. And my rub brick completely blew out. So shouts out to Lucas, AKA Swashbuckler, for uh, giving me his old rub brick. Apparently he's had this for like two years. So I didn't know that was supposed to last that long because the one that I got literally blew out in like 20 minutes. So as you can see, curb is super, super nice. It's got a nice bevel to it. As you can see, perfect angle. We're in this spot that no one really cares about. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna start by brooming and getting all the rocks and leaves out the way. And I'll start rub breaking. I'm just kind of killing time right now because there's a bunch of uh, contractors on lunch down the other end of the car park. I'm just trying to stay as low key as possible. I mean, I know they don't work for the city, but I seen a city truck drive by earlier. I'm just trying to keep it super low key out here today so we don't get busted. <laughs> So I didn't bring my respirator today and it's really harmful to breathe in dust from concrete and cement when you're working with it. So uh, I'm just gonna try my best not to breathe it in. Check out these sick safety spec signings I've found in my car. Looking like a bit of a bloke, mate, going to work. Gotta get this curb done, mate. Gotta check in with the sight foreman, mate. You blokes know what I had for breakfast. Had a few deep breaths and a glass of water, mate. I'm gonna keep my skateboard close by just in case uh, someone rolls up. I just, I just tell them I'm, I'm skating. I'm not doing anything, I'm just skateboarding. Let's get the dog done, eh? So right now the curb is as smooth as it's gonna get. It's pretty smooth because I think it's like a brand new construction. I don't think this car park's been here very long, so the cement is still super smooth. I only had to hit it once. You may have noticed there is cracks in between the curb and I've got some of this JB Weld steel stick to chuck on it. So this curb is gonna be like an ice skating rink once I'm done with this place. Get a nice little mix going. So it's all that kind of dark color. I recently used this stuff to uh, patch up a hole on an engine case on a dirt bike. All right, once you get it to like there, it's pretty sure we just, I should have got some more. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Pop that in. Yeah, just like that. Damn, I hope I have enough. I think I should have enough. I only really gotta do like three cracks, so I'll make it last. Ran out of steel stick. It's all over my hands as well. I pretty much got one crack done. I was like, should I just coat it now and then just leave it? But I really want this curb to be like butter. So I think when you go to Walmart, get some more steel stick, come back, throw the lacquer on, wait for it to dry, wax it, and get some skating done. Just got back from Walmart, got a couple of steel sticks. Um, this stuff dries in like five minutes, so super happy about that. I'm gonna patch up the rest of the joints here, because they're not really cracks, they're kind of joints, stress joints, and then lacquer it up, let it dry, get some waxing down, get a session before the sun goes down. So I got the whole curb clear coated now, or sealed. It's the wet look sealer. Originally I was just gonna do the top and a little bit of the side, but I ended up doing the side to the ground just to make it look neat 
and kind of seamless, if you will. I actually got a really cool idea. You know how like construction people and like contractors wear those high-vis shirts? where it's like the safety orange or the neon green and it has like the company logo. I wanted to do like evening mob general contractors and make like a shirt, like a long sleeve uh, safety orange shirt with some printing on the sleeves in the front and the back. Have it say like evening mob construction, Southern California, then like a fake number to make it look like a legit construction shirt. So like if you are out and about building spots like I am, you can just chuck it on and uh, the general public won't even bat an eyelid. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a really cool idea. I've been wanting to do this for like a couple months now, so I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. One thing I found really, really cool about this spot, you can ride your horse down here, park up and then skate the curb. You can park your horse right here if you like, go and skate the curb. Horse can get in on the curb session. And uh, yeah, how many skate spots do you know where you can park your horse, skate a curb? So right now there's really nothing to do but wait. So this stuff dries in an hour. It is 2.40 right now. So by 3.40, she should be good to go. Chuck a bit of wax on, maybe get a few clips. But if not, I'll have to come back in the morning. She is looking good, looking very buttery. I honestly can't wait to get a crack at this thing. I know I've got to be patient and let the clear coat kind of soak in but i am stoked honestly this is such a good curb i've waited like half an hour now it's like touch to the dry it's like dry to the touch feels really smooth i mean the instructions on the bottle are for like if you're doing a backyard or something this is just the curb i'm gonna throw some wax on and get a few slappies going it feels smooth as like it feels so smooth so hopefully she's good to go this is gonna be really quick this is going to be a quick curb. So my main camera died right now. Back on the iPhone. I'm about to hit the first slappy on this thing. I'm going to go for a slappy board and then slappy back 50-50. Just keep it in the safe zone for now because I don't know how fast this thing's going to be. There you have it guys, I am puffed out, I am drained, I am hungry. I need to stop skating before I take a fat slam. Shouts out to eveningmob.com, sponsors of the video. It's gonna be a Black Friday sale. Basically 30% off everything online, so make sure you head on over to eveningmob.com. Hopefully this video inspires you guys to get out there, build something in your local town. If you don't have much to skate, you can make it happen for yourself. F what the city says, F what uh, people might say, go out there, build some spots, have fun. And uh, yeah, get out there on the board. Rolled up on the sick, real slow, with the lights out. Then I see my enemies on the capital with the sound out. Bustle standing on the corner, sipping on some Alice. That's where I got the tick to in the drip. And then come Mr. Spray, jump back in the ship, burn rubber. As I left the same, still bleak from last night, so kill it to Tommy.